Hey everybody, this is Rachel Pitts with Women Your Mother Warned You About, Just the Tip Tuesday. And today's tip is to read more. Readers, leaders are readers. Let me get that right. Leaders are readers. So what I've been doing lately, I've been reading this book, Limitless by Jim Quick. It's so great. Um, we will be sure to give you um, a link in our show notes on this, but you can look up Jim Quick, K-W-I-K, right here on Instagram and grab his book. I highly, highly recommend it. And I've really been studying Jim Quick ever since I heard about him in Game Changers by Dave Asprey. And I was just fascinated by this guy. His story is fantastic. If you go follow him, you will find out all of his great stories but what really fascinated me about him was number one, his ability to um, remember stuff. He, he really was working on memory and also speed reading because I like to read and I've always been really kind of frustrated that I can't read fast enough and I can't absorb enough material. And Gina commented the other day and I thought it was really interesting. She said that the amount of books that I go through is actually really impressive, but I listen to a lot of audiobooks. Like every morning I walk my dog for a couple of miles and that's the time that I always listen to audiobooks. And I also, when I'm in the car, I always listen to audiobooks. So I really turn through a great deal of material that way. And I realized that reading books is a totally different cognitive process. And it's so, so important. And I have, you know, I was looking yesterday as I was reading this book, um, just on my living room bookshelf, I have probably like a hundred books and I have another bookshelf in my office with more books that a lot of them I've started reading to be honest and I haven't finished. So one of the reasons that I picked up this Limitless is because I wanted to learn how to read faster so I could absorb more information and I could get smarter and I just, I love improving myself and I think that is one of the most important parts of life is to continue to learn and continue to grow all the time and it's a lot of fun actually. Um, so the process, I'll just give you a couple of things. And one of the things that I'm doing right now is taking Jim Quick's advice, which is to teach you about some of his processes. Um, learning faster, he's got this uh, acronym, FASTER. One, uh, the F is for forget. Basically, forget everything you know so that you're open. Uh, the A is for act, so make sure that you're active in your learning. S is for state, so what state are you in? Are you in a good mood? Are you in a bad mood? Try to check your state. T is for teach, which is what I'm doing right now, trying to teach you a little bit about the process of learning faster and more effectively. E is for enter, which is enter it on your calendar. So if you are going to learn and study and improve yourself, make sure that it's on your calendar. What gets scheduled gets done. And so my calendar every morning, I have my walk and my workout and I have my reading session now entered in every morning very important and then r is review so you just go back and review what you've learned so that you don't forget it and jim quick goes through some really great uh, stories and analogies in his book talking about how people learn and how we never actually learned how to learn um so this book is really great for that and the memory exercises will blow your mind like I watched a video that he did, um, God, this was a couple of months ago, and he had a list of words. And let me think, I can still remember the list. Fire hydrant, balloon, battery, board. Uh, no, I'm missing it. Um, board. Diamond, night, ox, toothpaste, sign. <laughs> and the reason he gave this list um, when he did this exercise and basically you're like how or do you think that you could remember that list of words that I just said probably not so I'll give it to you again really quickly fire hydrant balloon battery board diamond night as in dun, 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 a night ox toothpaste oops I missed one hold on Fire hydrant, uh, fire hydrant, balloon, battery, board, diamond, 
knight, ox, toothpaste, sign. I'm missing one, I know, because I think there were 10. Anyways, <laughs> so my memory is not great. But what he does is he at, he created this story so that I, when I'm thinking of it, I can remember it. So the story was, there's a giant fire hydrant I'm standing beside. It's as big as life. And then there's a balloon that attaches to the fire hydrant and it floats up into the air. And then all of a sudden these batteries, all these batteries fly from everywhere and pop the balloon. And the batteries are being launched by a board, like a seesaw, a board up to this, up to the, um, to the fire hydrant. And the, the board is balanced on a giant diamond, this diamond. And then the knight comes and steals the diamond and he runs away. But then he runs into an ox and the ox is in his way. And he, in order to get the ox out of his way, he brushes his teeth with some toothpaste. And then, boom, there's a giant sign that's all neon and it explodes. Now, maybe there's only nine and I can't forget one. Hold on, it's in here somewhere. Let me see if I can find it. Uh, <laughs> it's a really great exercise, but you know, once he went through that, I like never ever will forget that exercise. And so he goes on, Fire hydrant, balloon, battery, barrel. I forgot the barrel. The barrel was where, the barrel was full of batteries. So anyways, I did pretty good though. But the point is, is that when you wanna remember stuff, you can associate it with an image in your mind. And it's a great way to also remember someone's name. And that was one of the other reasons that I started studying this book is, I don't find that I'm fantastic about remembering people's names, so I wanted to get better at that. So one way to do that is to, when you meet somebody, to really start associating that person's name with what they do or the scenario that you're in or something that they're wearing, and then repeat their name when they tell you, and then repeat their name as, as um, you exit the conversation. Lastly, one of the great things that Jim Quick talks about in this book is speed reading. And there's a bunch of exercises in here, um, and you could go to his website, Jim Quick, spelled K-W-I-K, -K, and check out some of his exercise on speed reading. And let me tell you, I have already seriously improved my reading, and I have a goal of finishing all the books on my bookshelf. I, I'm not gonna buy any more books, I hereby declare. I'm not gonna buy any more books, physical books. I'll buy more audio books. <laughs> but I'm gonna try to read all these books. And one of the things, and it's really kind of feels weird at first, but once you start doing it, you get better at it. And that is to read with your finger that you go through um, the words faster. And the reason, and he gives this, this other analogy, is if you're like driving leisurely down a road, you're you know, sipping your coffee and like waving to your neighbors, you're not really that focused on what you're doing. But if you were in like a NASCAR race and you've got the pedal to the metal and you're going super fast, you're going to be more focused. So that's what he shows you and illustrates in these exercises that if you're really focused and especially using a, um, a marker as you read the page, you can increase the speed of your reading and your focus and your retention. And it's super true. It may not sound like it, but it's super true. So the point that I'm trying to get at here with you guys is that leaders are readers. So take a look at, if you want to become more of a leader in your life, if you want to become a better, uh, better smarter, more effective, more productive human being, then take a look at how you're spending your time. Are you consuming information that's not just Netflix? Are you reading books? And if you are not, then try it. I mean, he, Jim Quick also says in his book, you don't wanna read for like six hours and take up your whole day, but 10 minutes a day of reading a book can help improve a lot of things in your life. So many things, like just pick up his book. Just say that. But add into your schedule, put it into your schedule, 10 or 15 minutes, a couple of times a week, if that's all you can fit in, of reading a book. It doesn't matter what it is. Even fiction books can really improve your mind. Readers are leaders, and it can improve all aspects of your life. So good luck. Be sure to check out Gina, Keith, and I at womenyourmotherwarnedyouabout.com. Thanks for being a part of our life.